So uh, thanks also to Kay and to Valentina and to Mamadou for popping in before he had to go and have his jab. We appreciate it. Um, and, and thanks to all of you. Before you go, we've got one final very short session. It's going to be about 20 minutes long and I'm going to need your full participation. So before we do that, let's just do a little stretch again because I think it's kind of the end of the day. So put your cameras on so I can see you. Let's see if we can do a bit of a uh, bit of this. Yeah, a bit of this. That's it. That's it. Reach up. A bit of head rock. Can't go wrong. Forward and back. Shoulders. Remember the last time you were on a plane? Probably a long time ago now, but you get these instructions when you're playing. Ankles, toes, get them moving. Very good. Very good. Right. Now I've got a question for you. Okay. So I'm just going to share my screen. My question is, what is this map? And as there are so few of us, don't worry about the chat, just shout out. Turn off your mic and or unmute it and tell me what it is. What is this map? The world. What is this show? Athena, I hear you. I can see you speaking, but I can't hear you. I'm speaking to myself, trying to figure it out. Is it a map <laughs> of the? Is it a map Our of IP the, locations? Eh? Is Our it a map IP of locations. the countries that uh, we have uh, CCM uh, active or no? Could be. Could be. What else? Is that from participants? Oh, it's very yeah. good from one. It's very good. This is where participants have joined our fabulous meeting from. So, how many countries do you think participants have joined from? I guess uh, 38, maybe. Higher than 38. <laughs> Come on, give me another one. Higher than 38. 45. Higher than 45. Oh, shit. Oh. 62. Okay, if lower than 60. Me, I can I can tell you. 47 is the answer. 47. <laughs> we had um, 304 different individuals join at different times during the week from 47 locations. So over 300 individuals from 47 locations. So a huge thank you to all of them. And particularly, we're going to say a big thank you to these three who according to our statistics are our most committed participants. It is these three wonderful people, Omar, Athena and Afra, who have been online and connected for the longest possible time, most active in the chat, shared their views, joined in. So a huge thank you to you, well done. And now what I'd like to do is I would like to ask, what do you think about this week and this week coming uh, in, in the next year. So we're going to do this. I'm going to ask, I think I'm going to ask Jen, Elena, uh, Juan and Dare, obviously. I think Jorn and maybe Brian, if he's there, to, to be ready, because I'm going to throw some questions at you. But I also want to throw some questions to you as an audience. So what I'd like you to do is grab your phone Go to menti.com. We need everyone in on this. I want to see at least 35 participants. So go to menti.com and put in the code 77. Charlie, we have we have 34 people in the... Well, I still want 35 participants. You just have to participate twice. Okay, I'm expecting a minimum of 34. <laughs> Thank you. Go to, go to menti and put in this code. Um, there's a new feature on Menti where you can add comments as well. So uh, feel free to have fun with that. But let's go into this. So firstly, what I would like to know is, in one word, how has this event made you feel? Just type one word and tell us how this event or how this meeting has made you feel. And I'm going to pick on Jen. Whilst we're waiting for this to come in, I know Jen's probably tapping in on her phone, but Jen, do you want to tell us from your perspective, how has the meeting made you feel? One word. I, I was about to type in lucky because it's been so nice to be with nice colleagues for a whole week 
and to have this dedicated time to reflect with each other. So that was the word that came to mind. And I got L-U-C, which is also light in French. So there you go. There you go. Or Luke. Uh, you could be just typing the name of your friend Luke. Yeah, so Jorn, what about what about you? Thank you, Jen. Jorn, what about you? Give me a word. Wh which word? Uh, how has this meeting made you feel? Well, I uh, feel that I feel maybe with engagement and I'm happy that we got to do the messages. Uh, I think uh, we still have a long way to go to to really take over the world scene. But I, I think that what we are doing is the first line of humanitarian responses and that it should be valued as what we need to have in place before we can start thinking about all the other things. And Thanks. then, yeah, sorry. That's... No, no, keep going, keep going, if there's more. No, no, I, I just remembered why I'm here. It's uh, because uh, I uh, remember from uh, slum um, settlements in Mumbai that uh, where you have all the different faces, where you have one new, uh, one three-year-old, one five-year-old and one 11-year-old, and in the 11 year old, you see the flower pot that they put up outside their shelter. And that's the durable solution. That's where it's changed from a transitional shelter to a home and uh, where people take part of building communities and futures. That's amazing. That remember, hashtag remember why we're here. And I think that matches with the inspired we have on the screen, right? So you know how these things work. The bigger, the more people comment in it, the bigger the word is. So connected and inspired and engaged and interested and lucky and excited are all, all getting big hits. Okay, let's go on. So I just want to ask you now, if you can remember these sessions, so which session did you like the most? So there was obviously that absolutely brilliant global strategy session at the beginning that I was involved in, and there are some others too, um, but you choose whichever one you liked most. There was the minimum standard session, the session on how the secret of measuring participation, the session on needs assessment. Can someone grab the phone? Um, then we had our sessions, our, our day, we had a day on localization and capacity building. Do you remember that? Um, and then yesterday we looked at community centers and we heard about coffee for CCCM and then safe and sustainable settlements and, and, and the deep look at the environmental issues affecting settlements or settlements affecting environmental issues. And today we did some strategic messaging and, and we looked at durable solutions. So what have we got? We've got 16 responses. Come on, folk, pick a couple more. You can select up to three. 21, very good. Minimum standards is just, just strategic messaging is pretty high, but I think, oh, it's close. Marco, it's like the penalty shootout when Italy lose to England in the final of the Euros. 10, 11, I think it is. Let's see, 12, 10. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna to go to the next one. So tell me whether you agree or disagree. How were the sessions? Were they relevant? Were they useful? Were they engaging? Were they well facilitated? And whilst you do that, I'm gonna ask, who am I gonna interrupt? I'm gonna ask Dare. Dare, are you there? Dare, which was your favorite session from the week? You can, that's, You're not that's allowed a to really choose your own question yeah. for um, for uh, for me or one to answer. I think they are all really closer to our heart, Charlie. I think they were really all of them are useful. They they were all relevant, useful, engaging, and they were all impressive. They were facilitated. Uh, to be honest, if you ask me to say which one, I would probably need to spend a lot of time to think. They were all very useful, Charlie. Maybe yeah, for, else. forever the diplomat, forever the diplomat. I'll go to Brian. Brian will tell me. Come on, Brian. Which which was the best session of the week? For me, it was account management standards. Um, so. Yeah, I, I just felt it was like the combination of a lot of incredibly hard work uh, by the team on it, and uh, yeah, the uh, yeah, some of the speeches I felt were were quite touching, and yeah, it, it's the one that hit me the hardest. <laughs> Yeah, that, that speech by Phil was pretty, you know, like we did the whole thing about it with a punch today, right? That carried a punch for sure. 
Okay, and it looks like overall we've managed to hit relevant, useful. Maybe we need to get a bit better at engaging and well facilitated, but generally it's pretty really strong. So well done, everyone. That looks very good. Let's ask you a couple more questions. And this is the really important one. And this is the one where we want you to be most honest. So this is not about pats on the back. This is about telling us what we can do, which would make this better next year. And I know for sure someone's going to say meet in person and actually be in a location together. Um, if not one of you, it will be me, because two years ago, Juan contacted me and said, Charlie, we're all going to Kigali. Do you want to come and, and help us do our event? And I said, yeah, of course. I've always wanted to go to Kigali and I've never had the chance to. And then she pulled the rug from under my feet and said, actually, you know what? We're going to do it online. So Juan, I'm going to ask you, what should we do next year other than go to Kigali? I think Bahamas has got two answers here, by the way. <laughs> Sorry, I just put in the second Bahamas. because okay. um, I, I don't know if vote. we can. I mean, I think while, you know, I don't know if we can survive another online global meeting. But at the same time, it's been so good to have so many people joining in from like everywhere and anywhere. And, and I think it's, it's allow us to grow in different ways as well. Um, I also think I would also like to encourage um, colleagues in different regions, you know, if you want to organize regional meetings, we're happy to support, but we need people in the region to initiate this. And maybe that's where um, we can do more of the face-to-face the -face, um, and like regional specific discussions as well. So there. So there you go, you got it. And we'll all do it in the Bahamas as and well. And Bahamas is always, um, you know. Yeah. Well, yeah. it's just been, I think it's just opened on the UK green list. So I'm on my way. Elena, are you there? Can you tell us, you know, what you think we could do to improve the meeting next year? Uh, I mean, it's, it's difficult because uh, obviously I was also facilitating one of the sessions. So um, Obviously, it would be great to, to meet everyone in person again after two years of meeting online. At the same time, it's also a great opportunity for people that might not necessarily be able to travel in person to join the discussion. So maybe you could try to have uh, something in between, you know, like uh, with um, uh, in-person meeting, but also like more online engagements and more uh, and more webinars and uh, and it's something that we've been trying to do with the CCM Tuesday. But I mean, definitely something something like this, like a um, yeah, something in the middle between the in-person meeting, but also maintaining a high level of engagement online throughout the year. Yeah, like a hybrid model. I think people have had so much experience of this online stuff now that I think a lot of face-to-face -face meetings when they come back are going to involve more of this, maybe before and during. But yeah, a hybrid model, that much is what one said about perhaps regional face-to-face -face meetings added to some, some online stuff. Thank you, Elena. Um, so let's now see if I can get to the next one. So, and this is a really important one. We want to hear this from everyone. Um, I just want to check that I haven't skipped too many slides. I'm sorry, I have. So firstly, this one, what changed for you as a result of this meeting? Now you can select up to four answers here, but if you select none of these, please don't select the other ones as well because that will just confuse us. So if you select none of these, just select that one, um, but otherwise you can select as many as you want to. I'd be really interested to see what we've got. So we'll we'll give this a minute. And maybe I'm gonna go, I can I can see Marco at the bottom of my screen. So I'm gonna to go to Marco. Marco, has anything changed for you as a result of this meeting? Oh, for sure. Uh, seeing the perspectives of the others, right? So the same challenge I'm facing here in Yemen, seen from another perspective context, but you can find like common solutions or ideas that you can adapt. So that's really cool, huh? Yeah. Uh, I mean, sometimes I reach out bilaterally, but maybe it's not the same thing because I need to solve one specific issue. While in this case, uh, I see other perspectives uh, from on the same challenge that I'm facing. So it's, it's good to see it from another like point of view. 
definitely. So definitely. that's very useful. I think that's really important. And, and, and three people who we have to say a huge thank you to, um, because they're sort of always behind the scenes making this event happen, or well, certainly this year behind the scenes making this event happen, uh, Elisa, Alistair and Joe, who have been, have been running around trying to make things happen. So uh, yeah, thank you, Elena, a huge round of applause to you. And I'm gonna pick on one of them now, uh, someone who's changed, changed their t-shirt halfway through the day, and we don't <laughs> know why. But Alistair, tell me what, is, what has changed for you as a result of this meeting? Um, I think because it was based around the, the strategy and like it, it gave me like a, an understanding of how where we're going forward, how we're going to take the strategy forward. So we have all the different working groups and we have like the this new side that I think has been missing, which is like the the sales pitch of CCM, which is you know communicating to the donors, to governments, etc. So for me, like this week was framed around that and it's helped me sort of understand it. That's really cool. Thank you. Is there anyone else who, who's not? And I've, I've unfairly picked on Marco and Alistair there when having not prompted them before. But is there anyone else out there that just wants to kind of put up their hand or, or put in the chat or switch your mute off and tell us if anything's changed for you as a result of this week? Feel free. Adley? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I think. Just uh, thinking about the session yesterday and um, the photo that Emmanuel showed about, like with the regression of the of the trees and the forest, I think that was really impactful for me. Um, so definitely, I want to um, be even more proactive in uh, see how we can make our uh, population more sustainable. It was terrifying, those pictures that, that, that we saw at the end of the before and after over the space of about six years was absolutely terrifying. Okay, I'm gonna to go to, thank you, Elena. I'm gonna to go to the next uh, and final question. And this is, what is the change in CCCM that you will strive for in the next three years? So we started at the beginning of this whole meeting talking about the strategy 2021 to 2023. And we talked about these three years and we said, look, here's what we're aiming at and why. What I want to know is individually from you, in your context, on the work you do, what is the change that you're going to strive for? And it's this fantastic, you know, the, the, the greatest ever quote, in my view, Mahatma Gandhi, when he said, be the change that you want to see in the world. So what is the change that you're going to, you're going to implement? What is it that you're going to do? And maybe whilst we gather those, I think now is perhaps a good opportunity for me to give you a couple of logistical items to tell you before I hand over to Juan and Dea for some final comments. So I'm going to refer to my book now so I don't get this wrong. So the first thing I think and really importantly is to say this isn't the end people, it's not over. On Monday, it's Practitioner's Day, and there are a whole load of really exciting sessions taking place on Practitioner's Day. And I'm going to ask Bruce again. I always ask Bruce to do this. Bruce, can you put the uh, link to Practitioner's Day in the chat so people can find out what's happening on that day? Um, that's definitely an important thing to say. The other one is to say that from the, the brilliant session we did earlier today, your sound bites that you created are not lost. They've not gone into the ether. They've been hoovered up and collected and they are going to be shared via social media. They're not all being shared at once because I'm told that will mean that they will cannibalize each other. I'm not quite sure what that means, but I think it means that they'll all be gone and I don't know, they'll all happen at the same time. So they're slowly going to trickle out into the media. So watch out for that. And if you see things you like, feel free to share it and raise awareness of CCCM. Many, if not all, of the tools and resources that were shared this week that were discussed have been put onto uh, the website, or at least links are on the website. So you can go to the Global Cluster website and get those tools and resources there. And the other thing you can get on the Global Cluster website are links to the videos of all of these sessions. So if you want to see yourself again, or you want to hear something interesting, feel free to go to those links. Those will be on YouTube, so you can see them there. You're, you're famous now. The other thing that's on YouTube, but is much, much more exclusive, and this is the thing that I know you all came for really, 
is DJ Alisa's playlist compiled by you, CCCM 2021, Coffee for CCCM. It's where all the hits are. It's massive. It's exclusively available via a private playlist on YouTube. And you, yes, you can get that playlist just by messaging Elisa right now. Um, and she will send it to you or maybe in the next couple of days when you're really bored and you want something to do. OK, that's all I need to do in terms of updates. So first I'm going to turn to Juan and then to Dare, just to hand over to them to say any final comments. Um, just before I do, I just want to say thank you to everyone who worked so hard on developing their sessions. I'm sorry that I bullied you and made you come to many meetings and prepare things and write me session briefs, but I think it was worth it. So thanks to all of you and Juan, over to you. Thanks, Charlie. And and thank and I think a big thank you to you again for putting up with us for the second year in a row. Um, it's Bahamas I feel like next year, right? Definitely you, you've definitely become part of the family, you know, and then it's hard to leave when it gets there. Um, and I think big, like big, big thank you for everyone who stayed with us also through these five years. Um, it's it's harder, but it's much easier i think the fact that we did it together and i think the level of engagement and interactions throughout is is really inspiring and i really admire the energy and the and the power that goes into you know coming together for this week but as um as charlie said um my big last word is come and join us on monday for the cccm practitioners day we have like i mean it's pretty much oversubscribed and we're now forced to go from eight in the morning to like 6.30, six or something like this, Bruce? Uh, yeah, 6.30 um, in the evening Geneva time. Yeah, Yeah, it's just, yeah. And, and I think this is basically uncurated, un, like, you know, we don't script, we don't, you know, edit anything. It's just an open forum. So, but loads of really interesting speakers and exciting topics. So we'll see you there on Monday. Over to you, Da. Thank you. Um, thank you, Charlie. I think, uh, well, thank you for, for this, for this um, five days, which one, I think she said five years instead of five days when she said just now, right? She said five years. Just feels like that. Just feels it like feels that. like that for her, apparently. But that's why. But there was there is another year on Monday, so this is not yet end. We will have the, the practitioners' days also on Monday. I think we are we are looking forward for the active participations of everyone there. I, I also wanted to, to to really say thank you, uh, uh, Alistair, as well for uh, really leading the technical, the strategic uh, forward of 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 this preparation. It has been also heavy on you, especially with the fact that. We have a beautiful creature in the house who was just born, so um, we, we really very much appreciate that. And um, and I really wanted to thank uh, the uh, the team from from IUM and the, from CCCM who has always been there to help to um, uh, to entertain uh, during the breakout sessions, to to answer the questions, to work with each other uh, selflessly to, uh, to 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 make this um, this week successful. I also wanted to thank the 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 heads of the of the working groups. Uh, they have been really integral. It was obvious we, we we would have not gone without them, and also those who are of course the members of of SAC. But I think above, above that all, we really want to thank all the colleagues who are in the field in, in difficult circumstances with COVID situation, providing direct response to who, those who are living in inhuman conditions in many countries. They are dying in undignified manner. Uh, I would really, really just put my hats off to all the colleagues who are in the field, who have been in the field, who are all accountable to the, to the colleagues doing that. This is our ultimate only and sole objective to to enable you to help you to serve you so thank you very much for participating and taking your time i learned personally a lot this was super useful and please always remember that these are the events these are not the end these are just the beginning just the continuity i feel really bonded i feel with the family with all of you to uh, 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 to get together but more 
to continue these discussions. So feel free to reach to any of us here in the global level. Ask us to come if you need us there. Uh, and uh, let's continue our talks and discussions. Thank you all. See everyone on Monday. See you on Monday. Bye, everyone. Thank See you. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye-bye. Bye, everyone. Thanks for all.